I love the music in this movie. Boom. <clears throat> Hi guys, Leanne here, and I love horror movies, and welcome back to my channel. Hi, how is everyone? I hit 500 subscribers, and that is amazing. I am over the moon. I just want to say thanks to everyone who's been so supportive and who's left lovely comments on my videos, especially my midsummer one. I was a bit nervous about uploading it because it was really personal to me. It had an amazing reception and everyone was so nice with their words and saying how it was nice that I was being so honest and everything which was great so I'm so excited and happy that that video went really well. To be honest this week I will be talking about some more personal things because I will be discussing the Wicker Man, the OG versus the original, wait, original versus the remake and we shall see which one, <laughs> which one is better. Um, yeah, sorry. This is another movie that is very personal to me and I'll get that in good time. In regards to the giveaway, I'm planning on doing a giveaway since I've hit 100 subscribers. I'm just going to get some bits and bobs. It won't be a huge giveaway. It will be maybe a like a horror movie poster or something like that. I was looking on Etsy for something. That will probably happen in my next video, which I will upload next week. Let's start with the fight. Not really a fight, there's a clear winner for anyone who's seen both of these movies. The Wicker Man was released in 1973. It was directed by Robin Hardy and it stars Christopher Lee, um, Brett Eklund, and obviously the main man, Edward Woodland. And basically, let me tell you what this is about. Sergeant Howie is a devout kid. Sergeant Howie is a devout Christian who receives a letter about a missing child. So goes to the island, um, Summer Isle, which is in Scotland. Well, not in mainland Scotland, but like above. It's an island off of Scotland. Guess who else is Scottish? Me. If you guys never guessed from my accent, I am. Um, Born and raised in southwest Scotland, Dumfries and Galloway. I'll finish a synopsis before I start delving into Dumfries and Galloway and you'll find out why. You'll find out why. So basically Sergeant Howie receives this letter saying a girl's gone missing and he goes to this island and no one's even heard of this girl. So they're like, what? So he stares, he stays there a couple of days and weird things start to happen. So first of all, one of the main things I want to talk about is why this movie is important to me. Um, I know it's like another personal one, but I'm not going to go too much into it as I did with the Midsummer one. Basically, The Wicker Man is my mom's favorite movie of all time. Growing up, I had a lot of things surrounding me that was Wicker Man. Like my mom had the DVD, she had a couple of Green Man um, ornaments around the house. I just wanted to also say that growing up we had a border collie. Her name was Willow and she was actually named after the character Willow from the Wicker Man. Um, that's how much my mom loved the Wicker Man. She named our first dog after one of the characters. Willow was literally the best dog ever and I miss her so much and she passed away a few years ago now but she is still in my heart. Anyway, yes. I was surrounded by Wicker Man like ever since I was young. The movie was filmed mostly in Dumfries and Galloway and because my mom was a huge fan we, she would take us to um, the film sets. Um, so we've been to a lot of them. I have asked my mom to like send me some photos that I could maybe put in the video. If she has sent me them then they should be playing around and I'll show you. But basically we went to the graveyard, we went to the schoolhouse, we've been to the 
cave at the end of the movie. Well, it's not really a cave, it's actually a hall, and then they filmed the scenes inside of the cave. They filmed them in England. The pub, which is the Green Man Inn, and the Wicker Man. The exterior was filmed where my best friend works back home, which she told me the other day, which was super cool. Um, some of it was filmed in Kirkubri, which is like a town near Dumfries. I've been to a lot of the film locations. Um, my mum took us when we were very young. I didn't really watch the movie until I was a lot older. So that's one of the reasons why this movie is like super important to me. It's considered like one of the top tier movies to ever come out of Britain, which is fantastic. But moving on from that, the cinematography in this movie is amazing. There are some shots that are so beautiful and I don't know if it's just because like, oh I've been there and I know those places. Um, but the cinematography is really, really amazing. The far away shots at the end of the movie were filmed in Burrow Head, which is a caravan park. Well, my granny and my grandpa had a caravan up there. So we used to go up there quite a lot. And they used to have the leg stumps still there. And my mom has a piece of wood from one of the stumps. But then, <laughs> drama but the stumps actually got stolen so we had like this inside joke that my mom stole the wicker man leg stumps and she's hiding them somewhere for legal reasons that is a joke my mom has not stolen the wicker man stump one of the other things i want to talk about is like the witchcraft elements i say witchcraft quite loosely because even though there are some parts of the wicker man which can be quite accurately described as witchcraft in regards to the way we feel about nature and especially when it comes to like the sexual side of it um obviously they have like the maypole scene some of the songs well most of the songs are very sexual i myself i'm wiccan so i and, and i understand that everyone follows it differently so even though i worship some like one of the things about Wiccan and like witchcraft and paganism is that there, especially paganism is actually like the umbrella term. Um, but everyone kind of has their own way of worshipping it and following it, um, which is really cool. A lot of the symbols are quite um, sexual and like, how do I even word this? So, like, in the terms of like, the broomstick and like the maypole are both like representations of like the phallic symbol and like sex is a big thing and just kind of like being free and like being in nature because obviously nature is like created with sex so sex is something that's super important is kind of what I'm trying to say but I'm probably wording it really badly and I'm really sorry if I'm offending any other <laughs> um, witches or pagans um because it's honestly not my intention um i follow wicca so i this is uh something that's really important to me the music in the original wicker man is absolutely fantastic the opening song which is called corn rigs was taken from a couple of robert burns poems and kind of like meshed together which is really awesome. Robert Barnes if you don't know him or if you're from Scotland, Ravi Barnes. Um, he was a really famous poet that he actually lived in Dumfries and Galloway. A lot of the songs in this are inspired by like old like Gaelic songs and have like a lot of like um, representation to that. A lot of the cast members as well actually sang their songs, um, which is really cool. The action in this is phenomenal. Christopher Lee is so fantastic in this. Fun fact, Christopher Lee didn't actually get paid for this movie. This movie had a budget of £500,000 um, and because it wasn't that big, they, he told like the director and the producers like, like you don't have to pay me. I love this role so much that I will do it for free. So he played Lord Summer Isle for free. Brett Eklund as well, she is so amazing. She is fucking beautiful. She is so stunning. But she is a Swedish actress and she did a Scottish accent like super well. Like a Scottish accent is really difficult to do. Like 
so like I remember when I found out that she wasn't Scottish I was like what the fuck one of the biggest themes in this movie is like religion and testing your faith it's something that is very in your face from the start to the finish like the opening scene is like um sergeant howie in church singing so that just straight off shows you like that he's a devout christian um throughout the movie he's made re he makes references to like god and also says that he's um a virgin because he doesn't believe in sex before marriage and that he's actually engaged and the cult really try and test him for that like there's the famous scene which is when Willow is in the other room banging on the wall and she's dancing and she's naked and she's trying to seduce him. That was a test of his religion. And like, even the next day she's like, oh, I thought you would come and visit me last night. And then he's like, oh no. And obviously in terms of like the religion that they have on the island, um, which I don't think is ever actually like said what the exact religion is but it's supposed to be like old paganism i think um which is really cool and they have a lot of representations of that throughout the movie as well there's like a scene with the maypole and obviously like the whole movie is set around um may well just before may day and the events lead up to may day um which is really cool the sacrifice scene at the end is also fantastic it's so subtle and like it's not really filmed for shock value which I really love unlike the remake where it's like really obvious that the shock the the the, the some of the shots um in the sacrifice scene in the remake are clearly done just for like shock value and not for like any kind of good reason. That's all I have to say about the OG Wicker Man. I do not have a lot to say about the remake. The remake was made in 2006. It has 15% on Rotten Tomatoes and the original I think has like an 89%. It's directed by Neil LeBoot who I had never really heard of him. So when I did a Google, I found out that he's actually won awards for like the Sundance Festival. How has a Sundance Festival winner made this movie? There's just so many things about the remake, like I will get into. It stars Nicolas Cage, obviously. We all know the scene with the bees. Ellen Bernstein, who is completely wasted in this movie. I love Ellen Bernstein. She's a fantastic actress. She's in The Exorcist. She's also in Requiem of a Dream. It also stars Kate Beecham. So the synopsis to this one is Edward has a traumatic experience where he basically sees a mother and a daughter um, die in a car explosion. So he's kind of like recovering from that and then he receives, also he's a police officer. Um, I should mention that he's, he's still a police officer in this one. Um, but he is not a devout Christian, I just want to put that there. Um, so he receives a letter from an ex-lover that her daughter has gone missing and the ex-lover is Willow, which in the original movie Willow was Britt Eklund's character, like the sexy landlord's daughter. But in this they completely ruined her character, she was like shy and timid and like She's not trying to like seduce Edward or like test his religion because he's not really religious or if he is it isn't pointed out in the movie. Um, so my first <laughs> biggest issue with this movie is that it is not set in Scotland. This blew my mind. I knew that like it would have like an American setting for the start of the movie at least but I didn't know that the rest of the movie was still set in America. The Wicker Man is something that is kind of like really engraved into Scottish roots, especially like where I'm from. And also like a lot of the original has a lot of like old, like Gaelic and Celtic references. Whereas the, which was one of the reasons why it was like really good. And 
they, they didn't do this. So like the only way they could like link it to witchcraft was by mentioning at some point that they, they were like descendants of Salem. And don't get me wrong, I love Salem witches, but they're a completely different, well, they're not, they weren't really witches anyway in the Salem witch trials. And oh, it's completely different cultures. Like there was a lot of heavy Scottish, old Scottish Gaelic culture in Wicker Man and there was none of that in the remake and it just didn't work. It doesn't, it doesn't work in an American setting. It's really funny though, but in like a way that it doesn't mean to be funny. It's like so bad that it's almost good, but you're still like, this is really bad. But it's like really entertaining in a way that it's so bad that you make fun of it. There was like also a plot, tw plot twist um, where Nicolas Cage turns out to be the missing girl's father and he kind of just accepts that and he's he doesn't like he doesn't like ask for any evidence or proof he like she Willow's just like oh yeah you're the father that's why I ran away and like he was just like oh my gosh I'm the father <sighs> so um yeah, why wouldn't you ask for evidence that you were the father? Like, uh. um, there was like no music, which also was really upsetting. One of the the charms of the original were all the like songs that were made to be in like old folk style. That was one of the charms of the original because it was almost as if they were like casting, which was really cool. But they didn't have that. And I can't even remember any of the soundtrack. So I don't even know if there was a soundtrack. Like if there was, I really can't remember it. The acting was so bad. Like, the bees, the bees. There was another one where like, he finds the doll and like the grave and it's like all burnt. And like, it's the same doll that was at the beginning of the movie and Willow shows up and Nicolas Cage is like, how did it burn? I think it, yeah. How did it get burned? How did it get burned? How did it burn? I, how did it get burned? How did it get burned? I don't know. How did it burn? And I was just like, oh my gosh. I was in tears of laughter. I thought that was fucking hilarious. Um, also at the end, like Nicolas Cage goes on a punching spree and just punches the hell out of like everyone who gets in a way. What is it? What's wrong, sister? Oh! Nope. He fucking punches the landlady. Uh, that was another thing, actually. I don't know if this was intentional, but all of the men representation in this movie, like, it was almost as if they were treated as prisoners and, like, servants in this, like, cult. And I don't know if that was, like, part of the trick. There's something going wrong here or something. But, like, if that was the case, it wasn't made very clear because at the end all of the men were like in the like the festival so i was like okay but like it just didn't make sense to me why they would do that there was like it didn't add anything to it if anything it took away from like the experience and the cult good things i have to say about this movie the costumes at the festival at the end were really, really beautiful. I said that right off the bat when I was watching it to my friend. I was like, one thing about this movie that's good is the fucking costumes. Um, the, some of the cinematography was like nice, but it wasn't the same as like, like the Scottish scenery that you got. I don't know if that's just me because I'm being biased, but uh, yeah. The bees, I'm just gonna end on the bees. That's all I really have to say. So basically, when it all comes down to it, the original is a far superior movie. If you haven't watched it, check it out. It is a slow burn. It's definitely not for everyone. In regards to the remake, watch it as well, but watch it when you're like drunk or you're baked or something where you can just like, make fun of it. Like, do not take this movie seriously. If you're gonna watch the remake, go in thinking, this isn't a horror movie. This is a, a spoof of the original Wicker Man. This is a comedy. 
Um, and you might actually enjoy it. I said after I finished watching this, I was like, I'll watch this movie again, but only because I want to make fun of how badly they, they fucked up on a remake. You know what's weird? A remake of The Wicker Man could work if it was done well, if it was still set in Scotland and they had all those roots, if they kept the charm to the original, sure, like, change it up a bit, maybe change some things, but don't like ruin, don't ruin it. Oh. So that's all I have to say. Um, the original is amazing. The remake is fucking hilarious. They're both great. That's all I really have to say. I hope you've enjoyed my video. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, I'm on Instagram. I'm at the the only screen queen. I'm also on Facebook. My Facebook um, page is like Leanne Harkness with a full stop at the end. I'm also on TikTok, Leanne Harkness. Go and follow me there. My post some stuff on, in my like daily life if you're interested in that which is really cool um stay on the lookout for a giveaway soon that will be happening soon once i get some bits and bobs if you haven't already and you're still here um please subscribe and hit the notification bell so when i do upload you will get a notification and you won't have to worry about missing any of my videos you'll be like leanne's uploaded yes Thank you all much. I love you guys. Goodbye.